Catherine, and today I'm going to read you a book called Diary of a Spider. It's written by Doreen Cronin. The pictures are by Harry Bliss, and it was published by Joanna Cutler Books. Looks really cute. A little spider with his web, people in the neighborhood. Hmm. So it's a diary, so that means he's writing in it at, by dates. And it starts with March 1st. Today was Grandparents' Day at school, so I brought Grandpa with me. He taught us three things. Number one, spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. These spiders have eight legs. I counted them. Number two, without spiders, insects could take over the world. Ooh. And number three, butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. March 16th, Grandpa says that in his day, flies and spiders did not get along. Here's an old newspaper and the, the heading says, spiders and flies rumble in the city. And there's these spiders and flies that are, look like they're gonna fight. So rumble means fighting. Things are different now. See, they're friends. This is awesome. March 29th. Today in gym class, we learned how to catch the wind so we could travel to faraway places because they don't have wings, they have legs. So here's the teacher saying next, and they're on this basketball hoop. There's kids playing down here and they go over and then as the ball swishes through and makes wind, it catches them and they go flying. When I got home, I made up, made up flashcards so I could practice. He wrote, one, climb high, two, release silk, three, catch the wind. Fly made up her own flashcard. She only has one that she has to do. She just flies. We have to do all these steps. And I'm starting to see why Grandpa doesn't like her. April 1st. Went to the park with my sister today. We tried the seesaw. Here's sister. There's spider. It didn't work. They don't have enough weight. We tried the tire swing. It didn't work. We spun a huge sticky web on the fat water fountain. Ew! Ick! That worked. Look at that. Ew! Yucky. April 12th. Today was safety day at school. We learned that vacuums eat spider webs and are very, very dangerous. If we hear a vacuum, we should stop, drop, and run. Stop what you are doing. Drop from the web and run like crazy when you see these vacuums. April 13th, we had a vacuum drill today. I stopped what I was doing, forgot where I was going, and ran screaming from the room, help, help. We're having another drill tomorrow. Maybe he'll do better. Maybe Spider will do better tomorrow. April 17th. I'm sleeping over at Worm's house tonight. I hope they don't have leaves and rotten tomatoes for dinner again. And then here's Worm's mom going, more leaves, spider? Yeah, he didn't like that. May 7th. Mom said I was getting too big for my own skin. So I molted. Ugh, Worm's going, that is so gross. So molted means that he, he he pushed out of his layer, upper layer of skin. That's what um, some insects can do. And then they have a, they, it's just like an empty shell. And then they keep moving along. May 8th, today was show and tell. So I brought my old skin. My teacher called on it to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> she thought it was real. You there. Hey, why don't you get us started? And there, there's it is. There's all the kids, and there's the skin.
This is good, isn't it? I like it. June 5th. Daddy Longlegs made fun of Fly because she eats with her feet. Now she won't come out of her treehouse. See, she's very upset. Very cute treehouse though, right? Straws, stamps, all sorts of little things. I'm going to find him and give him a piece of my mind. June 6th. I found Daddy Longlegs. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I gave him a piece of my lunch instead. <laughs> Smart. But I think Daddy Longlegs aren't so, they're pretty nice. June 7th. Fly's treehouse blew away in the wind today. Oh, that was such a cute treehouse. And so did Grandpa. Look, but Grandpa at least has his luggage with him. Where we wonder where he ends up. June 18th. I got a postcard from Grandpa today. To Spider at 5 Webb Avenue, USA. Dear Spider, ooh la la, I landed in Paris. French bugs are delicious. Au revoir. Au revoir means bye bye. Grandpa, leg of French gnat. Give it a try. Says it's very tasty. June 30th. Grandpa came home today. I couldn't wait to hear about how we rode the winds all the way over the ocean. Turns out he caught a breeze to the airport and napped in first class. Pretty smart grandpa. Who knows where he would have ended up. July 2nd. Fly came over to play today. She got stuck in our web and her mom had to come get her. Look at this. Fly stuck. Grandpa laughed a little too hard. From now on, we have to play at Fly's house. Oh, July 9th. Today was my birthday. Grandpa decided I was old enough to know the secret of a long and happy life. What's the secret? Never fall asleep in a shoe. Yeah, because you could get squished. July 16th. Things I scare. Fly's mom, <laughs> because he was playing with Fly and webbed him up in his web like a little cocoon. Fly's mom didn't like that. Tiny bugs, scare them. And people using water fountains at the park, because there it is, that sticky, icky web again. July 17th, things that scare me. Daddy long legs, vacuum cleaners, and people with big feet. Squash. No! August 1st. I wish that people wouldn't judge all spiders based on a few spiders that bite. I know if we took the time to get to know each other, we would get along just fine. Just like me and Fly. See the buds going down the water in a leaf. The end. This is a really cute story, isn't it? And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we will do something again real soon. I'll find you some more books to read.